Hey guys, Ryan here, and in this video, I'm going to be covering whether it's better to game on KDE Plasma or GNOME. So out of all the desktop environments that are available on Linux, GNOME and KDE Plasma are without the doubt the most widely used. Of course there's others such as EFCE, and also forks of GNOME including Cinnamon, Budgie and Cosmic. But for sake of simplicity, let's just stick with GNOME and KDE Plasma in this particular video. So a common question you often get asked is when it comes to gaming on Linux, does the desktop environment really matter? For example, GNOME does have a reputation of being heavy and does have the tendency to use more of your system resources. Whereas KDE Plasma is the opposite, it's seen as more lightweight and as a result tends to use a minimum amount of resources. But does this really make a difference in modern systems? Well, in my particular experience, I've not seen any indication whatsoever that using either GNOME or KDE Plasma makes any meaningful performance difference when you're playing a game. I mean, if anything, KDE Plasma is probably marginal at best. Now, of course, I can only speak from my own anecdotal experience, but uh, Joe at Beeratech also carried out some benchmarks whilst he was running several games that he launched from GNOME and KDE Plasma. And the consensus at the end of the video was that KDE Plasma was, on average, faster by a single FPS point when compared to GNOME. So not exactly a difference, as if we're honest, that falls within the margin of error. So I suppose the question is, if desktop environment does not really make a difference to game performance, then what does? Well, in my experience, there's two things, the desktop compositor and the CPU governor. So a desktop Windows compositor is used to provide animations and visual effects to Windows, but if this is enabled at the same time as a full screen application such as a video game, it does have the tendency to negatively affect the performance in game. In other words, in an ideal world, you want to be able to launch a full screen application and then the compositor should just be temporarily disabled. However, GNOME uses a compositor and window manager called Mutter and this cannot be disabled. Instead, it supports something called full screen unredirect. In this particular scenario, what happens is a full screen application is simply excluded from compositing. So you can switch applications and the entire desktop will still be composed aside from the window in question. On the other hand, KDE Plasma uses a compositor and Windows Manager called KWIN. Now, unlike Mutter, KWIN's Plasma KDE can be disabled. In fact, it's designed to do so once it detects a full screen application has been launched. Of course, the downside of this method is that if you now switch applications, you'll find your desktop will no longer be compositive and all the animations and visual effects will be disabled. Now, in my experience, I found that KWIN will sometimes not disable the compositor automatically. So to ensure that happens, I use a KWIN script, but to install the script is very straightforward. All you need to do is download it and then install it within the KWIN script section found in Windows Management. Once that's installed, enable it, and now when any full screen applications are launched, you'll find that the compositor will be correctly disabled. So the second factor that affects gaming performance is what CPU governor you're currently using. Now, if you think of a CPU governor as a power scheme for the CPU, in which that it dictates the maximum and minimum frequencies that the CPU can run at. Now there's several different CPU governors to choose from, but if you're going to be gaming, the recommended one to use is Performance. Now, I recommend to use a tool such as Feral Game Mode, as this will allow you to change your CPU governor to performance on the fly only when a game is launched. Now, Feral Game Mode should be available in your distributions repository, otherwise you can follow the instructions on the GitHub page and it'll tell you how to install it, as well as how to request that particular daemon. Alternatively, if you want to permanently set a CPU to the performance governor on boot, you can use a tool such as CPU Power GUI. Once again, this utility should be available in the distribution repository, but if you do want the latest version available, visit the project page on GitHub and it'll tell you instructions of how to install it for your distribution. In summary, using the performance governor, as well as disabling the compositor, is going to give you the best game performance on Linux. So in that particular case, the desktop environment you choose to use is kind of irrelevant. Either way, with that, it does bring this video to an end. Thank you very much for watching, and if you did find this video helpful, you know what to do. Please leave a like, and then subscribe to the channel. Thanks again, and I'll see you again very soon.
Goodbye now.